home to the greenery. These next three pots I want to introduce to you are varieties of osteospermum, or sometimes called African daisies. It's the first year we've mentioned these in one of our videos. This new series that came out this season is great in that it's a little more compact, smaller flowers maybe, but heavier blooming. Just awesome. Uh, and look at them come through at the late season. Osteospermum are one of the best plants for the late season in a sense of being able to take frost. Uh, these things should go right into October, late October, with no problem at all. Minus five, no issues with that. And uh, the flowers will last uh, as, as you can see, they're just flushing out in the late season and those will last right into that uh, uh, mid-late October part of the year. Uh, osteos have been accused of being sort of a little green in July, which might be the case, but we're doing uh, our best to sort of trial all, all the different varieties out and choose those ones that do best in our climate that uh, have more flower power in that heat of the summer. Um, they do favor that sort of cooler night temperature uh, that's what gets the, the flower power to come out on these types of plants. Um, so this little batch we chose here uh, are probably one of the best for that that we're noticing. Uh, so by variety they're called the Fortunate series. So it's Fortunate Red Flare, Fortunate White Blush, and over here on my left is Fortunate Yellow Magic. Um, give them a shot, uh, especially if you need that really late season color uh, right into the fall. Here's something new and exciting. It's a variety of gomphrina done from cutting. So a lot stronger uh, in the root zone than your typical seed varieties. Uh, we used to do gomphrina from seed a while back, but uh, not the easiest plant to grow in sort of wetter conditions. Uh, they're very, very drought tolerant, uh, which makes them great for our climate in the summer. Uh, so we tried this uh, variety this year. Um, and it, it turned out unbelievable. I mean, uh, uh, there was a white one as well, and there might be other series, other colors coming out in the series uh, also. But uh, for now, we're definitely gonna stick with this one. Uh, it's called Pinball Purple. So Gomfrina Pinball Purple, almost like straw-like, uh, like we've talked about the Brachianthas uh, or straw flowers before. Well, they have the same sort of straw-like flower heads are almost like a celosia as well. So they last forever. Um, again, we haven't deadheaded this thing. So it's been looking like this all summer. Uh, remarkable in the heat and like I said, extremely drought tolerant. Great choice to have. Over here to our left, two varieties of annual Coreopsis. Uh, we've really been promoting these now. Um, Threadleaf Coreopsis this family is given because of the small narrow leaves. Uh, sales in the perennial end have diminished every year, but in sort of the specialty basket stuffer or annual section, they've just taken off. And again, we've got two examples here to get you excited. One is called Fruit Punch, and the other one over here is called Highland Blast. Uh, and these things, again, once they start, they just keep blooming all summer long. Uh, Coreopsis have been known to be um, easily, they get mildew very easy, but these two varieties uh, at this time of the year are looking perfect still, uh, which again is why they made the cut for the top performers. Uh, just an awesome plant. The bees love them too. A lot of these, you'll notice, there's bees just flying back and forth. Uh, one of their favorites actually is this next plant uh, coming up here. It's a variety of agastash, and uh, if you need pollinators in the yard to help you with your cucumbers and zucchini and so on, plant some of these around the the outer parts of your, your uh, vegetable garden and you're sure to attract honeybees which is really crucial to get uh, good production off those types of crops, cucumbers and melons and so on. Um, this is called Agastache Kudos Coral. Now last year's episode we did talk about a variety, a blue variety called Summer Sky. Um, this one here, the Kudos series, will have I think two colors available for the upcoming season. Uh, maybe just a little more compact, sort of a, a lighter leaf tone to them, but uh, we get into sort of the orangey mandarin fuchsia shades uh, with, with this, this variety here. Awesome plant, um, especially, and like I said, if you need those honeybees, it's, it's the best. 
And here, again, every year, I can't get over the Lobularia. You know, last year we, we showed the whole series. Um, so I just thought uh, this year I'll just bring one in. I didn't want to bore you even more uh, talking about all the different shades. But uh, here we got the White Stream Lobularia, um, which is a type of a listen done from cutting, so way stronger than your seed strain. I mean, I can't get over this thing. It's just solid. All the colors are. There's the purple, the violet, and um, uh, different shades of white, a yellowy white one as well. And they're just all phenomenal looking in our, in our trials right now. So we just picked one out just to uh, get you hooked on it. Can't go wrong with, with something like this. In the edge of a border, a mixed basket. They just keep holding their flowers. They don't shatter nearly as easy uh, as the seed varieties of, of uh, regular alyssum.